Hey boys and girls, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Got a 2016 Honda Civic I'm working on right now. And this thing is pretty nasty. It's got some uh, paint overspray, or I guess splatter all over the front end I'm gonna have to remove, but I just wanna show you, I'm gonna be doing a wash real quick with the perfect soap. I've got my, I got about two gallons of water in a bucket over here. And we're gonna do the Gary Dean wash method, but the traditional way. So we're gonna put two gallons of water in a bucket instead of one. We're gonna put a quarter of an ounce of the perfect soap in the bucket because it truly is the perfect soap. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this car with snow foam. And I know you guys love some snow foam. Me personally, I feel like it's a waste of soap. However, it looks super cool. And if you're looking for the wow factor, Snow foam is the way to go if you're gonna do a traditional wash. So, two gallons of water in a bucket, quarter of an ounce of the perfect soap. I'm gonna put about 12 microfiber towels in the bucket and I'm going to be swapping them out every time I use both sides of the towel. So, I'm gonna go ahead, I got my bucket. I'm gonna put about a quarter of an ounce in the bucket. of the perfect soap. I have my foam cannon already uh, pre-mixed. Pre Basically, this is a 32 ounce uh, foam cannon. This is actually the, I use the AR Blue 112S, which is my preference for a pressure washer. Uh, it is an inexpensive pressure washer. I believe you can get them on Amazon for about $100. Uh, they do not come with the AR Blue foam cannon you have to buy that separately and the reason you have to buy theirs generally or get an adapter is because they they take a certain type of fitting but anyway i think this is about 60 bucks but how i mix it is i put actually i put about an ounce or so i mix it i basically there's a there's a line on the bottom here a little ridge here i basically fill it up with soap to that and then fill it up with water and shake it all and blend it in so that's what we have here. There's about, I don't know, eight to 10 ounces left. Now I've already uh, cleaned the wheels. No need to do that. So I'm just gonna pull the uh, pressure washer apart and put the foam cannon on here. So you have an adjustment on the top on how much foam you want to, to uh, disperse. You also have an adjustment here on the fan setting. So, so once you've got your adjustment proper, you go ahead and lather up the car. Doesn't that just look super cool? <sighs> you guys like what you like. All right guys, now that the car is all foamed up and lubricated and it looks super cool, now the next step is to rinse it all off because, because some of you guys feel like the soap is gonna break down the dirt on the car, it's a good idea to rinse the soap and whatever dirt it broke off, the paint off the car prior to actually washing. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do that now, and then uh, get started with the wash. All right guys, now that we've got all the foam and potential dirt that the soap broke down off the car, it's time to start the wash process. Now I've got 16 by 16 towels pre-soaking in uh, a two, gallon, two gallons of water with the perfect soap. And I'm gonna use these this time. You do one side at a time. Go over one area of the of the paint at a time and try to minimize the amount of swirling motions that you do. I like to go front to back and all the way and build it out 
but I only go over each area one time unless there's a lot of debris there. In which case, I'll continue to turn the towel and hit it again, but I won't rub in one spot. That's potentially creating scratches and swirl marks, and nobody has any time for extra scratches or swirl marks. So now that I've used both sides of this towel, time to discard it and pull another towel out of the bucket. Again, front to back, side to side, whatever you want, but only touch an area one time, which is going to reduce the amount of times that any debris that is in the towel that came off the paint is going to rub into the paint in different spots creating scratches. So there we go with that. Top to bottom on the fender. Then we discard the towel and grab a new one out of the bucket. So the perfect soap is pH neutral. What that means is it's not going to strip off any of your wax or sealant that you currently have on the vehicle for protection. If it's too high in the pH, it becomes an alkal alkaline. It's gonna to start to strip your protection off. If it's too low, it becomes acidic. And that's not good either. That's actually really bad. So you don't want your pH on a soap that's built for maintenance to be more than about seven and a half on the pH scale. And uh, pH neutral is the way to go, especially if you're trying to maintain. Uh, as far as waxes and sealants still being on the car, I'm actually gonna wipe the car down with one part IPC, infinite purpose cleaner, and two parts water mixture to make sure that there's nothing on it before I polish the car. But prior to that, I've got a clay bar, I've got to remove this paint, I got a lot to do before I get to that. But uh, there you go. This has been the perfect soap. Another thing I want to mention just real quick is this won't leave any residue over time like a lot of soaps will. Um, some soaps, the more you wash, the more residue you get. And uh, over time, that creates an issue uh, with your wax or sealant. It causes it not to last as long. Uh, it creates a nasty, foamy surface feeling. And bottom line is, the Perfect Soap rinses clean every time, works amazing, foams up nice. It's pH neutral, so it's not gonna strip your wax or sealant. It's awesome for maintaining. Juice Boost, Vitality Shield, Infinite Diamond Shield, and whatever else that you're putting on your paint. Uh, it does play well with others. Uh, however, using my line is the best way to go. Thanks so much for watching. 813-846-4406 is my personal cell phone number. If you need me, you can get me. Send me a text. Thanks again for watching. Check out DetailJuice.com for all my products. Have a great day.